Ah, you know clap. Yeah. Action. The first major fashion show I ever walked in was Chanel, and I was the bride. I remember Naomi, Linda Evangelista, Kate, all those big models. That's when I met most of them for the first time, and I was so starstruck. And Karl, obviously, Lagerfeld, who was so kind to me during those days. He really took me under his wing. It was just such an amazing moment to be there, and terrifying as well. I was an extra on Brookside. <laughs> that was my first casting and I got the job as well. I'm pretty proud of that. My very first modeling job was also um, really hilarious. It was on this English TV show called This Morning with Richard and Judy. And I was modeling um, teen club kid um, fashion. And I got there and I didn't realize I had to do my own hair and makeup and I didn't bring anything. So Richard's um, makeup artist gave me a whole makeover, but she drew my lips on like three sizes the size of my lips. <laughs> I had to dance on like this morning and like pretend I was in a nightclub. And <laughs> yeah, I think all the, all the sort of kids in my neighborhood really took the piss out of me for a while after that. <laughs> This is gonna show how old I am, but I'm from up north. I grew up in a town called Oldham. And I remember at like six o'clock in the morning, the rag and bone man, I kid you not, walking down the cobblestone street where we lived, screaming rag and bone. And I was probably like one and a half or two. I can't believe I remember it, but it is my first memory. Weird. Get up and make myself a good cup of tea. That's it. I try not to check my phone for a good 30 minutes. And I am a really early riser. It's just naturally I'm up sometimes at like 5, 5.30 in the morning. It's really annoying, but it's probably the only time in the day I actually have to myself before my kids wake up. First hanger's pretty fabulous, honestly. I was in Tokyo when I was 16 years old modeling and I'd gone out and we drank sake all night and absinthe, I think I tried. And I had such a terrible hangover and my agency almost kicked me out of Tokyo because I showed up an hour late to work. Fun though. Be yourself, be an individual. I know fashion or being a model, people think it's about quote unquote, looking beautiful and looking perfect, but any successful model I've ever met, the reason that they are um, who they are is because of their imperfections, is because of their quirks. It's because they have this sort of inner sparkle to them. First I've Made It moment has to be my first Vogue cover, Italian Vogue cover with Stephen Meisel, with Pat McGrath doing makeup where she shaved my eyebrows off and I cut my hair off and dyed it like punk, bright red. And that was the first moment when I saw that cover where I pinched myself and went, oh my God, I'm on a cover of Vogue. I mean, it, it was just, the most magical moment.